Cyrus the Great here and today I'm bringing you my opinion about Total War franchise well-known game series. I'm not going to focus on one specific game, I would like rather present overall view how these games evolved and how do I rate this progress. Through art classes I had in school, I learned that one big picture is composed of millions of small details. Same rule apply for games. An addictive and properly made game is composed of few most important parts. Engine, that's like the base of entire game. Soundtrack, Jeff Van Dyck made the greatest one in my opinion. And content, of course uh, this is what is game about. And stuff like that. Best graphics, effects and tweaks without addictive gameplay will be literally useless. So why many people, including myself, found latest Total War titles crap? Let's move on to main part of this video. First games of Total War series were redefining whole role time strategy genre. Instead of making excellent games further, Creative Assembly went for money, making loads of mistakes during next few years. Instead of playable base game released along with optimal size DLC like Barbarian Invasion for Rome Total War or Kingdoms Expansion Pack for Medieval 2, they decided to cut whole games into small pieces and sell it. This is one of the biggest failures in their history ever, and at the end of the day, it has and will have run bad effects on community. Warscape Engine was designed for ranged combat, combined with artillery fire. It works fine for naval battles too. Actually, performance in huge scale battles was greatly improved, but it's complete shit when it comes down to basics of older Totemo Engine. Mill combat doesn't exist anymore. Unit and soldiers don't have a mass. Instead of epic unit clashes, both units are just walking through each other. This is why most of newer Total War titles are shit. How you can enjoy game with broken engine? Warscape engine was first used, uh, first time used in Empire Total War. I don't say all games using Horsecam Engine are broken and they are shit. I enjoy playing Napoleon Total War and I enjoy starting my experience with Shogun 2 Total War. But uh, rest of the titles like Rome 2 Total War is, is complete shit because because the when game is focused on melee combat and cavalry charges, you can't use this same engine for everything. This engine was designed for range combat, for Napoleonic warfare, for Empire times, where most of the battles were fought using infantry, gunners, muskets, stuff like that. Not uh, Rome, Rome 2, where uh, it's uh, where action is placed in the action world, and uh, stuff like pikes, like cavalry charges, like infantry with uh, pikes, uh, with crop load of formations uh, and differences, you can't use the same engine for everything. And you can't use the same engine for few years uh, when it's, you know, it's pretty crap. Many people are still not happy with that state of uh, Warscape engine. And uh, the last release a Total War game is of course Total Warhammer and he uses the same engine and of course a little bit tweaked because uh, it has uh, I remember uh, 64 bits instead of uh, 32 but it does not matter the units still don't clash properly they don't have unit uh, kill animations implemented so it's complete miss for me and uh, of course, there there are things that you can change, like music. You can easily mod this with uh, some knowledge or just download mod from some uh, makers like Paladin, Paladin Bob, who certainly did one. Uh, but you can't change engine. You can't mod engine. You have to creative assembly need to get out of this broken engine and make new one, or they will be. Or they will be, you know, stuck with this state of of crap engine. If you want to ask me why Rome to failed, 
I'm not gonna repeat and do next video about that because there's one guy on the YouTube called Reynold Sanity and he made a really great job taking on this challenge, describing all the mistakes they made. So you can just search for his channel and watch his videos. I completely agree with him. So uh, pretty much uh, that's my point. And now uh, if you have some time, ask yourself a question. Why most of the people, why most of the new players still enjoy all their Total War titles? I can uh, tell you my point. My point is that the, all these titles which use it, this uh, Total War Engine 1 and Total War Engine 2 were complex games with amazing level of immersion. You can play them non-stop. They have everything what good good game needs to have. They have good engine as I said a million times. They have amazing soundtrack you can listen you can listen to. And they are very moddable. You can ask Paladin Bob how these games are friendly for modding. You can literally edit some of parts of the game through the most simple uh, tools including in your Windows system like Notepad because the files are in txt files so you can easily mod them you can easily debug them and games are still rock made they are rock sold especially rom total wars like swiss knife and obviously there are no advertisements or whatever in internet answer why many players new and old still enjoy these games is one because these games are masterpieces. Nowadays most of the people act like sheep. They buy whatever new comes out just because it's new. But new it's not always better. Often old games are blazing examples of how to make game properly and they still have large fan communities as we have too in our little medieval to uh, total war multiplayer world. Many people enjoy hot seat campaign. Many people, including myself, enjoy uh, fighting with Humas in multiplayer. And uh, here we see the quote of Emperor of Great Unknown, one of the best uh, modders and players at some time. And you can read this. A simple rule, all action has consequence. For every combat blow, there's an equally appropriate reaction. Too often the presentation of melee combat in strategy games is for combatants to stand toe to toe and swing quickly at one another until at this row somewhere in the bowels of the game logic seems that someone should fall down it. This is what is missing in Total War uh, Warscape engine. And of course, uh, I highly recommend you getting some older Total War titles as, and stop getting Neverwise. I don't enjoy Warhammer because I found this is, in my opinion, this is kind of mod made basing on uh, Total War Attila and Total War Rome 2. A team of modders could easily do same or even better thing if they would have access to, you know, all these developer stuff like um, engine source, the tools, the team, the teamwork and stuff like that. So I don't enjoy something which is not new. Pretty much this is same game like ROM 2, but we've implemented some new features, but with same engine. And of course now everyone is hip at whoa, Warhammer is awesome. It can be awesome, but Creative Assembly is going wrong way. Um, they need to abandon their Argo strategy based on the first statement that customer needs to adapt his preferences to game makers. No. Game makers must listen what customers want to achieve, as it was in the past and as it shall be now. Thank you very much for watching uh, this video. Like, share and subscribe and put off some comments uh, below. What do you think about Total War games? I'm right, perhaps I'm wrong. What do you think about uh, this video? So again, have a nice day. Thank you for watching if you watched the whole video and actually take care. I will see you guys I will see you guys next time.